Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the first thing that we will discuss are the types of reproduction. Now broadly there are two types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So these are the two broad classifications of reproduction. Now whether it is plant or it is animal, like plants can reproduce asexually, plants can also reproduce sexually. It depends, some plants can reproduce mostly sexually, some plants reproduce asexually. Similarly in animals also, some animals reproduce asexually but some animals reproduce only sexually. So we will look at what is asexual and sexual reproduction. So now we will see what are each of these types of reproduction. So first let us talk about asexual reproduction. So in this type of reproduction only a single parent is needed. Now this is very important. So you just need one parent. Now let's try to compare it with the type of reproduction which happens in human beings. Now in human beings uh, for a child to be born one parent is not sufficient. You need a father as well as a mother. So a father and mother, both of them are needed. Only then a child is born. Correct? So that means this is not an example of asexual reproduction. So that is sexual reproduction. But in asexual reproduction, you just need one organism. So there is no concept of mother, father. So it is just one organism, one parent, which can give rise to new organisms. So in this case, no sexual intercourse is involved. That means there is no communication between a male and a female. Basically, there, there is no concept of male-female because every organism is capable of reproducing. Whereas on the other hand, in case of sexual reproduction, there are two parents who are involved. So you need a mother, a father, a male and a female. So fusion between the male and female gametes give rise to the new organism. So what are gametes? Gametes are specialized cells or you can say they are the specialized sex cells which fuse together, which combine together to form a new organism, to form one cell which then again multiplies and becomes bigger and bigger and that's how it forms a new child. So in this case you need male female so you need two different sexes but in case of asexual reproduction just one organism is enough. Also in case of asexual reproduction the new organisms which are formed so these new organisms which are formed they are exactly identical to the parents in this case. But in case of sexual reproduction, the new organism has similarity to parents, but it is not exactly identical. For example, we might resemble our father to some extent, we might resemble our mother to some extent, we might also have traits which are new, which are neither present in our mother nor father. So in case of sexual reproduction, it is not necessary that the new organisms will, will be like, you know, exactly identical to that of parents. But when you talk about asexual reproduction, you really do not see any variation. So you do not see any new traits coming up in the offsprings or in the new organisms. This type of mode of reproduction that is asexual reproduction is more common in plants, especially the lower plants, the smaller plants and small animals, mostly unicellular simple animals. For example, bacteria, amoeba, hydra, tapeworms. So these are some of the animals where it is very common. For example, bacteria, euglena, amoeba. So most, most of the unicellular organisms, unicellular organisms are those which are made up of just one single cell. So in these type of animals, asexual reproduction is more common. Whereas when you talk about sexual reproduction, in this case, as I said, you need two distinct sexes, male and female. And here the multiplication rate is quite slow. That means here the offsprings, number of offsprings or the number of new organisms which are produced is comparatively lesser than in case of asexual reproduction. So if you take an example, let's say in case of bacteria, when bacteria reproduces asexually, it produces hundreds and hundreds of new bacteria. But when human beings reproduce, it gives birth to one child or sometimes in some case it gives twins. 
So, you know, the number of organisms or the uh, multiplication rate in case of sexual reproduction is quite low when compared to asexual reproduction. But sexual reproduction is uh, seen in higher animals for including human beings and other uh, mammals. Sexual reproduction is also seen in how higher plants. All the flowering plants, they reproduce sexually. So here sex is involved. That means their sexual intercourse, the fusion between the male and the female gametes that give rise to the new organism. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.